Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are listed in the description box below. Check that out. It's got links to most items down there and I appreciate you watching. So let's get going. I've just put out um, a little layer of alcohol and I'm adding uh, some of this uh, brown to it and I, I want this really wispy so I'm not going to make sure it stays concentrated. I really want to blow it out throughout the whole page and just to have some a little movement to it. So I've gotten this kind of, how oh, I liked it, and this is what I've had in mind. I just want a little bit of the marbling, but not a real dark spot. Now I'm going to put three flowers in it, and this is the first one. Um, watch this one. I have to do it three times. I, there's something I just don't like about it, and if nothing else, it shows you how you can start to correct or add just a little bit to the center if you don't like the center, or just kind of wet the whole thing down and start over, which is what I ended up doing here. But I do want you to see how you can get yourself out of uh, little blunders with these, these roses. And I do have this going on low. Um, I am just not real fast at doing it on high, and I, I feel like it is a little less controllable. So I, I do most of my things on low. And as you can see, the center just didn't really do much. Um, I like the outside, but the center, so I'm just adding a little more alcohol, a little more ink to kind of hopefully get that to work out really well. And I just kind of continue the same type blowing technique that um, I've been doing on the other part of the flower. And yeah, I didn't like any of that. So we're doing the whole thing over. And don't be afraid to do this. Alcohol ink is very forgiving. <laughs> you can do it over and over and over. So I just added more alcohol to reactivate that ink. And I am starting to work this rose again.
Now I've got my palette out and I'm going to add the same color into one of the wells that's pretty close to that color. And of course the brush soaks up that first initial part of alcohol. So you want to put some more. And I'm going to make some buds. I couldn't figure out really how to do this other than with a brush. So this is how I'm doing it. It always turned out big if you put down the alcohol and you can want to blow it. You couldn't quite do it or I can't quite do it. So I just went ahead and don't be afraid to grab that brush. I mean, it just, it's really fun to do. So I'm putting in just this shape. I'll go a little later and add maybe some highlights. And, and so I'll do some more stuff over it. But right now I'm just trying to get the shape and the basic outline of um, the items in the picture. So here I've decided I'm going to dip my brush back into some of the alcohol ink and I'm going to kind of go in and maybe put some highlights through these flowers and, and show that there's depths in the leaves or the petals and just kind of go in a circular motion doing these shapes and it just adds a little bit, makes the flower stand out a little bit more.
So here I am taking the same brown that I did the background in, and that's going to be my leaves and stems for the little uh, buds and all. So I am just trying to get familiar with how this is working. Uh, most of the time, you know, you just want to go and do the, the brown right over the red. Well, it starts to mix, so I'm realizing I'm going to have to put it on heavy and let it just sit there. So I'm starting to do that, but that's part of learning your inks and which ones do what and what you can do with them is just get in there and do it. And if it doesn't work, change it up and do something a little different. So I'm starting to try to put the leaves that are on the bottom of these little buds. And so it, it's, it's, I'm getting it. It's, it's working. And, um, so just yeah, keep at it because you never know what's really going to work the best for you. Okay, so I am starting to do the leaves, and if you've noticed the first couple of them, I'm just kind of getting the feel of it, um, kind of figuring out what shape I'm liking, and so that's what I've done on these first two. Kind of decided how I want to do all this. I know they come in little clumps of three that you usually see, so um, I'm having to really make sure I have the room and, and how I arrange them so you can see the three on here. The first layer of brown, just put it down. Get your outline, get the shape you're wanting. The second layer I go in and do, I make it a little darker, and I'm purposely going with the um, way the leaf flows to make my lines because it's going to leave those streaks and lines in there. So the first one, you're just putting it down, getting the shape. Once you're happy with that, go back over it and see how it gets a little darker. And that's when you can really control the vein in the middle if you want to put that in there. Um, let your inks dry a little bit. Let them get a little thick because when they're first out of the bottle, they're just, they're going to kind of be wild. So let them dry a little bit and then put them in. And it'll do a lot better for you. And you can start to see how dark that this one is. And I'm sorry it's out of the frame. Um,
And you can see each layer you put on that brown, it gets darker and darker, and it really starts to stand out and not blend in with the background, but it stands out as part of the flower. And you just keep going over it, let your ink dry a little bit, and just keep, keep putting that ink on top of it, and it starts to get darker and darker for you.
All right, we are about done. I hope this gave you some good ideas to go out there and play a little bit and, and learn some new techniques. So I hope these videos are helping. And I appreciate you watching, and y'all go have fun.